Stephen Bedetti, Sylvia Santiago. We have our town clerk, Kelly Allegra, with us. Our highway superintendent, Anthony Feo. Town attorney, Dave Zagon. And I see uh, police chief, Robert Doss, is on the screen. And we have in the audience our receiver of taxes, Susan Scheibel. And handling our IT work tonight is Danielle Barron. Are you okay, Danielle? Okay. And I am, unfortunately, George Myers. All right, we'll start. The first item on the agenda is a public comments on agenda items only. So if anyone wants to speak to any of the agenda items, I'd be glad to, uh, we would be glad to hear your comments. Okay, so we'll get going with the agenda. <clears throat> Chair Lieutenant Moshe, Town Board Town of Winds, approved the minutes of the Town Board meeting held on May 5th, 2021, as per copies posted on the Town Clerk's Bulletin Board and Town Hall, and same distributed to each of Town Board members. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Monroe? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Chair Lentani, Motion Town Board, Town of Windsor. Hereby authorize the Town Supervisor to submit an application on behalf of the Town and Town Board for consideration under the Orange Urban County Consortium Community Development Block. I didn't touch anything. All right. Thought we had enough trouble last night. I was hoping tonight was like a smooth sale. All right, we'll see. So you gotta right. say that again. You gotta read that one again. I gotta read it again? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna make believe I read it again. Listen, um, Anthony Fail, we have begun this project, right? We are now in the process of doing some roads. And how many year project is this? Okay. So at that point we'll we have not paved any roads in town for many years. Yes, so we are now, we now we are on our way to a paving project, long overdue. 
Trail Lantana motion to Town Board Town of the Winds that pursuant to section 287-6F of the Town Code Town of the Winds of the Town Board Town of the Winds that shall hereby fix the amount of non-refundable surcharge discussed therein as two times the estimated quarterly usage attributable to the subject water meter or property during the quarter of initial non-compliance of any subsequent quarter of non-compliance. Such surcharge shall be immediately added to the standard schedule fees all in accordance with the attached resolution. Motion? Nope. Second. No call. Councilmember Rowe? Yes. Councilmember Betty? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. This is our meter project that's been underway since 2018, receiver taxes. And we try to get everybody on board. We probably are really down to maybe a couple hundred. And if they don't do it, we're going to have to uh, double their, their fee. So we want everybody to get in. The town's been losing a lot of money with these old meters. They, they have slowed down and are not properly uh, registering the water that's used. Chair led tender motion to town board, whereas on April 7, 2021, town board of town of Windsor authorized and advertised for sealed bids for the Clark, Clarkview Road sewer surcharging mitigation project, <clears throat> known as the Clarkview Sewer Main Replacement Project. And whereas the bids were received the public open on May 20th, 2021, at 12 p.m. and where 12 p.m. and whereas pursuant to the correspondence received from Goey Hauser and Etzel Consulting Engineers DPC, dated 24 May 2021, a single bid was received, which was in excess of the project budget, and therefore a recommended bid be rejected and the project be re-advertised for bid. And whereas the town of the Windsor, the town board town of Windsor reserved the right to reject any and all bids. Now therefore it be resolved that the town board town of the Windsor hereby reject any and all bids. Motion. Second. Roll call. Councilman Monroe? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. This is not good policy when you just get one bid. The board discussed it, and we're, we're going to go out to bid again and see if we can get more than one bid this time. Chair Lent, any motion, Town Board, Town of Windsor, authorized supervisor to execute any and all documents necessary for lease purchase agreement with the Municipal Leasing Consultants LLC for the acquisition of five police vehicles and one cemetery dump truck in accordance with the resolution attached here to motion. Second. Roll call. Councilman Moreau? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. So we are now adding uh, some of our police vehicles have gotten pretty long in the tooth. So we have authorized the police department to purchase five new vehicles and we need some help at the cemetery that we unfortunately happen to run. and. I'm sure the chief is happy with new vehicles, right, Robert? I'll say yes, we could certainly use them. Okay. Well, you aggravated me enough to get them, so now you got them. Chair Lent, tenant motion, Town Board, Town and Windsor hereby amend the 2021 schedule, standard schedule of fees in accordance with the attachment hereto and direct the standard schedule fees be revised accordingly. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Moreau? Yes. Councilmember Daddy? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Mark. Yes, these were fee some fees, the building department, the recreation, sanitation fees, and water rate fees, and cemetery fees. So this will be part of our schedule of fees. General Antenna Motion, Town Board, Town of Windsor. Authorized to supervise a dex agreement in substantially the same form as attached here to between the Town of the Windsor and Washington Central School District to provide the school district with police services at Little Britain Elementary School. Motion? No. Second. Roll call. Councilman Moreau? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. Uh, we have Officer Hardy Pierce out there who does a great job. As a matter of fact, um, Councilman Bedetti got a call today from somebody out in that area asking that we acknowledge the work that he, he does with that school. And he does a real great job there. The kids love him and he keeps everybody safe. And I appreciate his efforts on behalf of the town and the school. General Lieutenant Motion, Town Board, Town of Windsor, authorizes solicitors permit to Brian Collins, DBA, Mr. Dingling Ice Cream, to allow the operation of a mobile food service establishment selling good humor ice cream by Mr. Collins and or his employee, Michael Gladuco. Elipedia. Permit shall be obtained for the town clerk's office. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Monroe? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Yes. This is a receiving file. Hearing no objection, the Town Board of Town of the Winter shall receive and file the attached complaint filed in accordance with the Federal Tort Claims Act in the matter of the Town of the Windsor versus the United States of America. This is a 
suit that we have filed against many people, including the state of New York, the United States government and the army about the uh, issues with the uh, water that we're having at the Butterhill and Crow Well. So I just like to acknowledge the work that uh, our town attorney and did on this, the outside counsel, Kimberly Ray. So we are now saying that it's their fault. I'm sure they'll decide that it's somebody else's fault, but we're now trying to recoup some of our losses. Another receiving file. Here, no objection. Town Board Town and Winds receiving file certificate of determination by the supervisor relative to terms, form, and details of the sale and issuance of eleven million eighty-five eighty-five dollars of the public improvement serial bonds 2021 of the town of the winds in new york and providing for public sale thereof this has to do with the water wastewater treatment plant the lake road the water meter project the uh, wastewater disinfection project and the townwide paving project so we're well below our authorization on borrowing so we're in very good shape with that Another receiving file, hearing no objection, Town Board Town of the Windsor receiving file with the town clerk, the audit report, including reports of the federal awards for the Town of the Windsor from Nugent Hauser PC certified public accounts for the year ending December 31st, 2020. This is an annual uh, audit that's done by here. And I'd just like to compliment uh, Jack Finnegan and Doreen Casey and the staff in the controller's office. I read it and everything is uh, copacetic and they're doing a great job there and uh, we on the behalf of the board we appreciate what they do for us not an easy task another receiving file hearing no objection town board town of the windows shall file receiving file with the town clerk commercial insurance policies for commercial property coverage commercial general liability coverage commercial crime coverage commercial inland marine coverage each of which affected from december 24th 2020 to December 24th, 2021. This is just some of our insurance policy to protect us on the liability side. Another receiving file, him no objection, Town Board Town and Winds receiving file, the attached memorandum of understanding dated 6 May, 2021 between the Fearless Hudson Valley Inc. and the Town of the Winds establishing procedures for the coordination and implementation of the risk reduction response program for the Town of the Winds. This is where our police department has joined up with used to be safe homes and they are now in our building what two days a week robert yes two days a week two days a week so any domestic issues we have they are assisting our police department with them and i appreciate their help in getting on board with this if no objection town board town the winds receive a file with the town clerk the attached state environmental quality review negative declaration notice of determination of a non-significance for the Valesgate fire district construction of replacement firehouse and a new storage building the Valesgate fire company is undertaking a huge, a huge project to uh, in replace their buildings out there on 94. And the town is very supportive of that. They're a great organization and they can always be counted on to respond to uh, any emergencies in the town. Is there some kind of vote there, Stephen, on the 20? What is it? Yeah, it's for their bond. For the bond. So there's a vote, I think it's June 22nd? Yeah, the, I think it was in that. Uh... Yeah, usually a lot of people don't show up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that will be a vote at the firehouse on that bond that they're taking. Okay. Last receiving file is here. No objection. Town board town owners receive a file with the town clerk. The attached monthly reports for the dep our departments for May, 2021. Justice Calderon, Calderon, Justice Myers, the police department, recreation department, tax receiver, utility report, tax receiver, monthly tax statement, the town clerk and then the Winds uh, Emergency Medical Services Report. So those are reports that they file each month with the town. And I'm happy to say that the Recreation Department is getting back in full swing here. So after the timeout, we had to take with this COVID. Okay, so the next item on the agenda is a public forum where you can speak to any item that you'd like to speak to. I just ask if you're gonna speak, come up to the microphone, state your name and address and make your comment and it'll be on the record. Anybody want to speak to anything? Sir? Ma'am? I don't, yeah, you. I've been uh, waiting uh, to uh, bring this uh, subject up for quite a while, but uh, since the COVID uh, thing, uh, has put us on hold there. Um, 
finally did the to uh, stick my uh, who, who are you, by the way? Uh, Don Beachy. And you're uh, Butterhill. Okay. All right, Mr. Beachy. Um, uh, I couldn't contact with uh, Senator Scoopus and um, um, traffic on Route 94 from the Sonoma Station all the way uh, past uh, Caesar Lane. It's almost like Indianapolis Caesar. We have to try to slow that uh, traffic down. I can't ask the police department to sit there 24 hours a day. So, um, the last time uh, we uh, had a problem, um, I had to go out and get all the signatures uh, to get a traffic light put up. And I ended up getting over 750 signatures. Um, and uh, I don't feel like going out and getting another 750 signatures because it took a lot of my time out. But uh, just to let you know, you know, uh, in that whole area, uh, there's a Dollar General store. There's a post office, there's a vitamin store, there's a pizza place, there's a group dog grooming, antique. Across the street, there's a, an apartment building with uh, children. Uh, down the road a little bit there, there's a couple of farms, there's a church. So all this traffic uh, that is going there, 100 miles an hour, no, but you're going fast. I understand. Um, you know, it has to be slowed down. And the only way to do that is a traffic line. Uh, the traffic light that was originally put up, which they ended up taking down because they said it was only temporary. Uh, I tried to fight that, and uh, I even got all the Larkin at the time there, and we couldn't do anything with it there because they said they had to do this big site. And, uh, but uh, I don't know if we can do it or if you can do it, if the town board can do it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm asking, you know, if any. I get something started. I've been trying to get a hold of Stufus again here. Every time I call down, his mailbox is full. And uh, so I can't uh, leave, leave a message uh, for him there. But um, I know everything was on hold with him there. And he said he was going to do something the last time. But uh, uh, again, like you said, it was put on hold because of the, the COVID. Um, so that was uh, the one thing uh, that uh, I would. That's the number one thing. Um, then uh, I've been reading in the uh, online there that uh, people are complaining about uh, the work that the highway department is doing uh, and the uh, paving in the uh, I don't know what these people want uh, that complaining. Do they want to all pass roads throughout the whole uh, town there? The, the, a lot of the uh, roads are in disarray for a while. And I think uh, uh, Mr. Fayo is doing a fantastic job. I know you, you put this program in place for uh, quite a while ago and uh, to repair all the roads. Uh, but I don't know what, you know, these people that are complaining all the time there that, uh, just because of the uh, uh, a couple of things that might not be quite right, but I think it's a great job, and he's doing a great job. Kudos to him to uh, you. Uh, um, also, um, uh, in this day and age, here when the police department is constantly uh, criticized for every little thing, uh, our boss, uh, an excellent chief. That has been keeping our town safe. Uh, and and uh, you know, I, I know you're, you got a couple of extra cards for them. And, uh, but uh, the, uh, you know, in my opinion, there's shame on the people that criticize the, uh, the police department. And uh, they, they, they shouldn't, because who are they going to call when they really need somebody? Uh, but uh, that's, and kudos to Chief Boss. Doing a great job, and uh, I think the town is in good shape. Basically, that's it. Thank you. I'll speak to this in a minute. Anybody else want to make a comment? Yes, Miss. Uh, 
name is Cecilia Wells, and I'm here in camp of water. The erosion, um, the soil erosion in the back of my home. I live at 30 Spring Rock Road, Road in New Windsor. <clears throat> And I think um, Samayas, I think you came out to my home. I did. Yeah, and I'm just I'm here um, as in behalf of what's going to be done um, because I'm losing I'm losing my backyard. Uh, my fence have already collapsed. Um, I, I I I don't know what to do. So I'm here asking, what can be done? Okay, you said it? Yeah. Okay, you take a seat. Okay, so let me speak to uh, Mr. BG's comments first. Um, you know, listen, I was very surprised when they actually took that uh, light down. I think everybody was. Once you put it up, and not, not, they took it down. But they took it down for whatever reason, I don't know. I think that I agree with you that mall is very busy all of a sudden with the nature's pantry the post office and dollar general and the cleaning store and getting out of butter hill is a difficult uh, proposition and sometimes people get anxious and they pull out anyway so i will speak to scoofus but i would ask the board at some point in time that if it's a monetary issue that the state doesn't want to pay the sixty thousand or seventy thousand that maybe with the board's approval we would pay that if they would do it. So I think that I will contact the, this fellow, uh, Lee Zimmer, who's up at Poughkeepsie, and chat with him about what what their thoughts are. They must have some thoughts. They put it up and took it down. So I will follow up on that and talk to him within the next few days, and I will get back to you about that. But if it's a money issue, I would ask the board if they'd be interested in uh, the town uh, putting the money up for the project if that's what's stopping them and i don't know if that's it but i will definitely the check it's it's very difficult i mean we all live here one of the board members actually lives there so we're much very well aware of what the issues are um as far as anthony fail with yeah no she knows um, Anthony Fair with the roads, I agree, he's doing a great job. I mean, he's now has what the board has given him the, the, the money to do his job. I mean, that's the board's job. Now it's his job to get it done and he's getting it done and I appreciate that. Um, as far as the police department goes, yeah, it's a good police department, very good police department, good leadership. Um, I'm involved with them every single day and uh, I, I know that they're doing a great job. We have. The board has supplied them with all the equipment they need to do their job. We now have uh, supplied them with body cam cams that were donated by people, new cars, riot gear. We have done a lot of things for them, and that's our job as a board to give them the equipment to do their job. We have done that, and now they are doing their job to do that. Uh, at Ms. Sparrows, um, I have been out there. Uh, I have had the engineer out there. And he submitted a report to me and said that the erosion was no worse now than it was in 2019. I said that I had been there and I did not like the way it looked. So I asked him to put together a proposal for me as to how much it would cost to do that. And the, the issue that I see is it's going to be more than just you. Because some people see you, they'll say, well, how come I don't have this? So we have had that conversation and he is putting together something for me, and then I need to take it to the board. And, um, you know, we have some money, but if we have to bond to get things done, it's, I always refer to our town as your own house. If things are breaking, you need to fix them. And sometimes you don't have the money, you go to the bank and you borrow the money to fix them, and then you pay it back. So that's some of the things that we do, and this board has been committed to that, that we realize that there's some things that needed to be fixed, and we're fixing them. So I am pursuing this, and I would let you know at the end of the day what it is, but it will be more than just you. Like I say, once someone sees someone got something, what about me? So that's one of the things we're looking at. So um, you'll hear back from me. All right, those are the questions asked. Just a couple of comments from me. The concert series will be beginning again June 30th at Town Hall. Um, we're, we're happy to start it again. The day camps. We'll be kicking off again 
This board has has moved forward with the dog park at San Giacomo Park, and that will be opening sometime, I think, in July. We're now putting together some applications and fees and things, but the fencing is already up. The cameras will be going up soon. There'll be key fobs, and you'll have to pay a fee to register, and we are kind of identifying dogs who will not be allowed there. So that's something that's coming very quickly. And I know I'm, for me, I'm just glad that this COVID is over because it's been very difficult on us. We have had limited hours here and we have done the very best to deal with the public. Uh, the town clerk sometimes deals with people out of window like they did in the city years ago. She's talking to people out of window. The building department people make appointments at 10 o'clock in the morning every 15 minutes and allow people in. So I haven't had any complaints, but I'm glad that next week we will open 8.30 to 4.30 and go back to regular hours. And uh, we're hoping that the COVID is gone and people maintain some distancing in town hall. And uh, I'm, I'm happy that we get out of this. Any of the board members have any comments they wanna make? Over here? Okay. Chair Lieutenant, motion town board town and the winds adjourn the meeting at 7.26 PM. Motion? Second. Roll call. Councilman Monroe? Yes. Councilman Bedetti? Yes. Councilwoman Santiago? Yes. Supervisor Myers? Amen. Yes. Okay. Thank you for your clerk.